Linking Bones and Max is pretty simple using the Select and Link tool. Uh, what we can do is let's go to Manage Layers and just turn off the geometry for now. And before we begin linking the stuff, we need to link um, up everything up to a higher level. So a very top root node that's going to control everything within this rig. Um, what I'm going to do for that is I'm just going to create a point helper. And let's make that a little bit bigger. It's pretty difficult to see right now. So let's make that point 0.1. Actually, maybe point 0.2. Alright, point 0.25. And I'm just going to align that to where I want the center of gravity, or uh, the root, to be. So I'm just going to do shift N and hit the head, the head bone. That's where I want it to be. All right, so let's take a look at the schematic view. The schem schematic view can be found up here on the menu. If we click that, I just zoom out a little bit. This, this view is really awesome, and actually it's often underused. And what it allows you to do is see hierarchies within your scene pretty easily. So you can see right now that these are hidden, um, just by the you know you can see that these are dotted over, rather than um, easily viewable. So these are these guys are hidden. These are actually our geometry. And if I right click on the background, and just click hierarchy mode, you can see that I can see the hierarchy of everything, and. Like I said, I want all of these to be in one single hierarchy together. I want to link them together. So let's start doing that now. And you can see how this updates as we go along. So let's start linking the head by using this tool here, the select and link tool. The head to, the, to this point where I want. This is going to be the root, the center of gravity. And you can see this is updated, 0.001 or the head bone is now connected to point zero zero one. Let's do the same for the spine, just click and drag, let go. And let's start moving these onto some of the spine joints. So these two guys can go onto this dude here. And same for this dorsal fin. And these two back tails can go onto the nub of the spine. So now you can see that we've got one big hierarchy with the point at the top and because this is at the top if I just close that down and move this everything's going to move along with it so really simple to select and link stuff in max uh, let's just turn on the geometry again and you can see that we've got our center of mass our center of gravity um, at the pivot of the head which is great and then we've got the spine everything else is linked up and it also means that if we go in and start grabbing some of these spine joints not the geometry and we rotate them you can see that the rest of uh, the things that are connected to it are going to come along with it for free which is great for an animation point of view as well you know uh, you could really go in here already and just animate that and he's pretty much ready to go for, especially for a game engine this would be fine um, and if you're just looking for FK controls which is what this is um, I think that's actually pretty good. For a shark, you should be able to get some good swimming animation out of that. So, pretty simple tutorial to go through, but one that, you know, if you remember this schematic view especially, really, really handy just to be able to see all of your hierarchies um, within 3ds Max.